Phrase is an SEO content marketing tool, and it's a serious tool. It's in Captera's 2021 shortlist for best AI software. So in this video, I'm going to put Phrase to the test. First, we'll see what's on offer, and we'll see if their website passes the trust test. Then I'll give you a quick demo to show you how the tool works. Then I'll get into the pricing. And then as a bonus, I'm going to share with you my go-to keyword research tool. You'll find links and timestamps in the description below this video in case you need a recap. Okay, let's do this. Okay, the website is phrase.io. As you can see, there's a free trial, which I'm a big fan of. If you're going to boast about your software, then put your money where your mouth is and offer a free trial or at least some kind of preview. So far, so good. If we scroll down, you see some testimonials from some well-known people in the industry. Let's go back one here. This is the director of SEO at Shopify. And... That's the growth content marketer active campaign, the email software. So these are not just random reviews. Scrolling down, you can see a little bit about the tool, view pricing plans. So they're quite upfront about the pricing. It's also in the top navigation menu. This is not one of those landing pages where you get a free trial, but you can't find the price anywhere. And scrolling further down, you see that some serious brands are using this software. I'm so very glad not to be bombarded with the ultra emotional copy that we're becoming so used to on these landing pages. Buzzwords everywhere, bombastic, fantastic, mind blowing, and of course, incredible. This landing page has none of that, and there are some heavyweights using this software, so it makes a nice change. If you scroll down, you'll see a few sections dedicated to the features of Phrase. So all in all, very nice. This is a solid landing page. There's no copy in there to amp up your emotions and get you salivating before you try the software. Evidently, the guys behind Phrase are confident enough that the software speaks for itself. So let's fire up the tool and see if it really is that good. When you log in, you'll see the Documents Area dashboard. As you can see, I use Phrase myself and I've created quite a few documents already. If you look at the left-hand navigation, you see that below that you have an outline builder. Add a keyword you want to target, hit enter and watch phrase do its magic. The first box loads with relevant keywords. Hit the one you like and you'll get related questions in the middle box. Select the related questions you want to tackle in your document and watch them move automatically to your outline builder. When you're done, hit create document, name your document and put it in a folder to stay organized. The first thing you'll see is a content brief section. Content marketing tools are fans of briefs and these are handy if you're outsourcing your content creation. You can simply send the content brief to your writers and let them get on with it. I create my own content so I don't actually bother with the content briefs, but I could create multiple briefs in one sitting if I wanted to queue up a lot of content ideas. Then at some point in the future, I can just sit down, pick up one of the briefings and write the content. When you're ready to create, take anything you want from the brief. I'm going to copy those headings. I'm going to go over to my content and I'm going to paste those headings. Now it's put them in bullet points. I don't want that. So I'm going to remove these bullet points. Okay. And then I'm going to turn these headings into H2s. All you do is you select one heading and you go from paragraph to header. Okay. Well, I'm going to do that for all of them. Okay, and these are going to be the headings in my document. Here on the right hand side, you can see a content research window. And this shows you the average word count, headers, images and links based on the top 20 competing pages. Below that, you can see the headings that the top competitors are using. You can scroll down and if you like one of these headings, you can actually hit the copy symbol to add it to your document. I quite like this one too. Now I'm going to select that and change that into a heading. Okay, take out the bullet number. And I'm gonna change that into a heading too. Okay, so I've just added more H2s based on the number one ranking competitor. Now, I suggest you don't just copy the headings from other competitors, actually tweak them and make them your own. Headers, links, and stats present you with more data you can potentially add to your doc. 
The topic score tab is where I spend my time when I'm creating my document. From here you can drop down the filter and show clusters, long tail keywords and more. The questions tab organizes questions from Google, Quora and even Reddit so you can really cover a topic in depth by answering relevant questions. And if we go back to topic score, you can whiz down the suggested keywords and quickly add the ones you want to your doc with just a click. And you can see your relevancy score change as you add keywords to your doc. Now these are set to H2 because that's what I was working with before. So I'm going to change that back to paragraph. And then I'm going to add a few more keywords. And you can see my relevancy score updating as I add. This is very cool indeed. Now, as you write your document, if you wish, you can click on highlight and actually see visually where you're adding keywords. I don't actually bother with that, but nice touch. Down here, you can see that you can add images and links to your document and your relevancy score is affected by outgoing links, internal links and images. And if you've already created the content elsewhere or you have something to work with, then you can use the import content from URL. You paste the URL and you'll get an editable preview here showing your title and your content. And when you're ready, you click on confirm import and that will import your content into this document from where you can start tweaking and improving your relevancy score. When you finish your document, you can export it as a PDF if you want to hand it over to a writer, for example, or as HTML, which is handy if you have a non WordPress website. You can do that here, download HTML and download PDF. You can also copy the content to your clipboard and then just paste it into WordPress. Now, if we go back to the dashboard, you have a content analysis link. If you click on that, you'll see all your documents being tracked by phrase. Now I want to show you something really cool. You can connect phrase to your Google search console and then go to content analytics and track the performance of all your content. And here's where things get really, really cool. You can see which pages are ranking or what queries you're ranking for or what questions you're ranking for and even what keyword clusters you're ranking for. This is brilliant. Now you'll notice that I have a couple of opportunities. What this means is that a particular keyword is getting impressions in Google Search Console and maybe a few clicks, but the page itself is not ranking high enough. So phrase marks that as an opportunity. I can see that I have 26 impressions and two clicks for this particular page, which is ranked on average on position 35. And what I can do at this point is go back to that particular document and improve its relevancy score, or if it's already high, then build some backlinks to improve the domain authority. So now let's talk about pricing. When it comes to pricing, you have two plans, basic and team. Basic is $44.99 a month. And with that, you get 30 document credits. Now, annual plans do get a 15% off at the checkout, which is quite handy. And if you work in a team or an SEO agency, then $115 a month will get you three users and unlimited documents. When it comes to pricing, phrase can feel a little bit expensive for the individual, for the solopreneur. That said, a lot of keyword tools are priced between $30 and $40 a month. Phrase is just above that, but it is a good tool. If you're a solopreneur and you have a client and you can secure a month of SEO or two, then you could dedicate that month to create content for your stuff once you finish your client work. If you're in a team or an agency, then it's a no-brainer. $115, any client work will pay for that. Now, do remember that you can start with the free plan and at least get some content done. So, as you can see, Phrase.io is a powerful tool. It's really well thought out. I love it. I love the workflow. I use it exclusively to create my content. I'll put a link in the description below this video, or you can go direct to the website and just use a free trial to check out the software. Now, let's get to the bonus. I'm going to share with you my go-to keyword research tool. It's called Writer Zen and you'll find the full review as well as a how-to tutorial in this video. Let me know if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments. Also, feel free to share any of the tools that you're using, that way we can all take a look. And while you're here, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.